Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Wednesday, <laughs> Tuesday, March 15th, 2022. Hope you're having the best week so far. And just wanted to hop on here and get back into a little of these, a uh, little hop on, hop back into a little bit of these. <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, some of these morning messages. So we're just going to keep rolling one take because that's what we're about now. And none of this cut, stop, refilm because that's a waste of energy and time. So yeah, I hope you're having the best Tuesday, best week so far. And today's <clears throat> morning message is going to be about being and choosing to be the best version of ourselves. So yeah, let's get into it. Okie dokie. So a few days ago, last week, I put a little question box on my story to just curate and whatever other word relates to that, uh, some <laughs> morning message topics to kind of continue. Cause up until then I had just been going off, you know, feelings and we know what was going on for me. And, um, you know, I felt like a, a better way to actually use this would just be to obviously trying to provide value, right? As much as I can. And <clears throat> what better way to then obviously just ask what you guys would like to hear. So, um, because that's who this is directed towards. So yeah, really appreciate all the responses I got for those and the specific ones that I actually wanted to speak to that I could wanted to kind of knock out. There were kind of several that almost pertain to the similar, a very similar topic, which was relating to being a better version of ourselves and specifically not letting others tearing down, not letting others tear down your inner peace to change who you really are, enjoying the peace of solitude and being okay with being by yourself. So that is what I wanted to speak a little bit on today with today's morning message. So yeah, let's do it. I was actually listening to this lecture, I guess, if you will, on YouTube from this philosopher named Alan Watts a few nights ago. And he talks about this idea of being by yourself. And he speaks on this matter and how he's kind of framed it and says it is that, you know, he says it's very difficult to find who you really are. Um, when you're surrounded by the people all the time and he says this sorry he says it's because you know, other people are always consistently persistently trying to tell you who they think you are like and it's almost I think when you're growing up it's almost hard not to believe them right especially elders uh, people that are older than you more experienced right in life um, they kind of tell you who they think you are and you kind of believe that like you're you believe this perception, I guess, you create this reality of who you are based on what other people tell you. And so just to speak on this idea of not letting other people tear down your inner peace or change who you really are, I think this actually stems back from, in my experience, because that's all I can ever speak to, this stems back from having a very clear and solid understanding of your core values, staying grounded in those, knowing who you are, um, knowing what you're proud of. I think that's a big one for me, you know, knowing what you stand for and why, and why you stand for them and, and in actions or habits that you have in your life, healthy habits, healthy actions that, that you can proudly, you know, when you lay your head on the pillow at night, lay there and think to yourself like, damn, like I'm super proud of the person that I am because I do these things or I think this way or I treat people this way. Um, having a very clear, understanding of you know, who you are, what you're proud of, your core values and what you stand for. I'm a, I'm a super firm believer in that if you have a strong knowing and understanding of these things that no one can tell you who you are. No one can tell you who they think that you are. And there's absolutely no way that you would believe them, right? Especially if it's, if it's feedback or advice that, that you are not personally seeking out from them. So, yeah, I, you know, if, if that ever comes up, um, you know, in my life specifically, I I kind of take a step out of it and say, like, was I asking for this advice? Was this solicited from me personally? If it wasn't something that I was really seeking out or asking for, like, if it's just some random thing that someone kind of says about me or comments about about my lifestyle or anything like that, I kind of just take a step back and say, like, this doesn't matter at all. Like, why should I even take this into account at all? Especially if it's someone that. <clears throat> like understanding like the, the source of the of that unsolicited feedback just to caveat this super quickly i think if if you know that you, 
you know, you're treating people with empathy. You're treating people the way that you would like to be treated. You are going about your life in a good manner. You're being kind. You're being generous. You're being polite. You're being all of these good qualities and good morals and good values that most often these unsolicited, these unsolicited advice or feedback is what I'd like to refer to them as from certain sources that aren't like, why would you even take them into account to begin with? Um, if you know that you're, you, you're operating and going about your life in, in the best way possible that a, that a rationally sound and, <clears throat> and good human being should go about, <clears throat> then, then these, you know, it's, it's very, very, very difficult to allow someone to kind of alter or change your inner peace or change who you think you are. And I think another way of, you know, maybe this is part of being self-aware and, and knowing who you are and, and everything. And I think the, the next step from that is then knowing, knowing what you want out of your life and, and having a clear vision and goals and, and intentionally working towards them. And so when, when you're so busy working towards these lofty and hopefully aspirational, super aspirational goals that you don't have time to listen to all these things or, or believe anyone that's trying to tell you anything um, because you are focused on, you know, ambitiously, courageously going after whatever it is that this vision that you're, you, you absolutely will make <laughs> a reality in your entire life. And so I think another piece of it is remaining purposefully and intentionally ignorant of this unsolicited advice. So the one, it's one thing to understand frame it in a way that it's not, you're not seeking this out. It's just something that's one off and you know, you're a good, you're a good person and it wouldn't apply. It shouldn't apply to you because if you're most of the time, hopefully 99% of the time operating your life in a super respectful, kind, responsible, empathetic, treating people the way you want to be treated manner, then really the only advice that you should be listening to is, is advice that you are seeking out from people that, that you want to be like. And then also too, having these you know very intentional and purposeful goals that you set for yourself and vision that you're trying to actualize into your life and then i guess the third piece or fourth piece whatever i'm on would be remaining super vigilantly remaining purposefully and intentionally ignorant to anyone that is trying to throw you off course um, from achieving that and then the last piece that i just wanted to add which is my caption for my tuesday reminder post this morning was that when you make the decision to be a better version of yourself the best version of yourself. You are helping other people make that decision for themselves too. And that's why you matter. And that's why what you do matters. And that's why what you do will always matter. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just work on being the best version of ourselves with as much as we can with every decision, every choice that comes throughout our days. And yeah, let's just keep getting better. So yeah, that's all I got for today's Tuesday morning message. Hope you have the best Tuesday of your entire life and I will see you soon. Love you guys. Peace.